The ocean is such an important and understudied part of our world. And if we want to try to understand what life is, what life was, what life can be, you got to look in the ocean. My name is Paul Dunn. I am an associate professor of biology at uh, Utah Valley University. I grew up in landlocked St. George, pretty much far from the ocean as you can get, desert community. I was typical in that Every kid and almost every adult that I ever talked to said that they wanted to be a marine biologist when they were a kid. Where I became atypical is I never grew out of it. I later uh, had the opportunity in undergrad to uh, meet a professor who in a landlocked state still taught marine biology and I was just like, what? He showed me that, oh my goodness, I can make a career out of this. And I really quickly realized that, yeah, I love marine biology, but what I really love about it is geeking out about all these cool things with other people and just showing them something and having them explore and learn things about it. And that joy that I felt from that interaction was way more than anything I had by myself. And I said, this is what I got to do. I have to be a teacher. Water is with us and fascinates us endlessly. We think that life began in the water and we've never truly left. If you think about what your body's made of, it's mostly water, right? If you think about how humans develop inside their mothers, they're in water. If you study organisms that live in the water and especially in the ocean, you're looking at the vast majority of the living space on Earth and a lot of what life can be. So the ocean covers over 70% of our surface. Over 99% of Earth's living space is in the ocean. And it affects our weather in the short term, it affects our climate in the long term, and so it has such a direct effect on us here. The ocean has for a very, very long time been like a landfill that we're just putting stuff in and it's out of sight, out of mind. It's absorbed enormous amounts of carbon dioxide for us. It's absorbed enormous amounts of heat for us. And it's absorbed enormous amount of trash and plastic for us. And now we're starting to see that it can't just keep taking it forever without consequences. I tell this to my ecology students all the time. It's not just to make you guys feel guilty it's because we can do something. If we're not the primary cause of a problem, it's harder for us to fix it. But if we are, then we can fix it. And I think that that's where the awareness comes in. The awareness can lead to solutions. My very first lecture in my marine biology class, I start out with uh, having them read a poem by Lord Byron called The Ocean. And then I have them read an excerpt from the first chapter of Moby Dick. And the point of both of them is get them talking amongst themselves on that first day. Why are you in this class? You signed up for a marine biology class in Utah. <laughs> you had a reason for being in here. What is it? What is it about the ocean for you? And it leads to the kind of that conversation of it all comes back to the water. We are drawn to the ocean and we get something deep and meaningful from our interactions and our thoughts about the ocean. One thing I would really want you to know, that if you're interested in studying marine biology or any particular aspect of biology, zoology, botany, or whatever, don't let the carriage get in front of the horse. Don't limit yourself to thinking you have to just go to the coast and study at some coastal place if you want to do marine biology. No, you can do that as a undergraduate, a place like UVU, we have a marine biology class, we get experiences that will segue you into any career path you want.